know why I want to do this on the floor. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, it's Leah and you're watching Mommy in the Moment. Uh, welcome if this is your first time. Welcome back if you are a subscriber or an old friend. Um, today I'm going to talk about my postpartum capsule wardrobe. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me over at Mommy in the Moment. But on Instagram, I posted in my stories yesterday about how I'm preparing for my postpartum wardrobe. And it really seemed like it resonated with people. And I think it's because I shared my true reason why. Now, capsule wardrobes are all the rage now, you know. Everybody is talking about 30 piece capsule, 10 piece this, five pieces for the fall, I only have one sock, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, hashtag minimalism. But for me, preparing for my postpartum wardrobe was more of an investment in my emotional state. So I remember with Nora feeling really kind of overwhelmed and down when it came to dressing my postpartum body. Now with Nora was my second baby, I knew things were gonna be like weird and squishy and not in the places where they used to be for a long time. Um, but for some reason I think it hit me harder because I think it took me longer to recover with her. So not only am I heavier than I'm used to being, my stomach is shaped differently. Everything has to be like booby accessible. Like I'm breastfeeding all the time, 24 hours a day. So you really have to be cautious or cognizant of wearing things that you can breastfeed in. And what I didn't do that time was I didn't put all of my other clothes away. And so every time I would go to get dressed, I'd be having to touch and pick through and look at all of these things that didn't serve me or didn't fit me or I would wonder well does it fit yet and then I'd put it on and I'd be like crestfallen because my stomach was spilling out or I couldn't get it up over my thighs and doing that to myself every single day was like micro traumas it was really really a mind trip you have to understand in my mind I'm an athlete I am a person that's in shape I this is like, that's, that's my inner self, that's my self image inside of me, <laughs> okay? I haven't been an athlete for a very long time. Let's be clear about that. But somewhere in there, I feel like, I mean, I could just go like run 100 meters real quick, just sprint it, just bust it out. I can't do that, but I feel like I could. And so my self image was being like chipped away at every single day as I was realizing, no, you're not. No, you can't fit that. No, that's too tight. No, that's too small. And so what I decided to do this time was to be super proactive about getting those clothes that may serve me later out of my sight <laughs> so I don't have to deal with them every day. And then really building a wardrobe that's gonna be comfortable, that's gonna be functional, that's gonna help me to feel good about where I am and what I'm doing. So what is postpartum? You're healing, you're recovering, you're restoring, you are nourishing, all of these amazing, beautiful things. And I wanna have some soft, comfy, beautiful things that I can utilize to serve my purposes in that season of my life. Um, so what did I do? I went through my whole closet. First of all, I'm still pregnant. I'm 36 weeks. You saw me like waddle down here to my position on the floor. Um, I went through my closet. I looked at what are things that maybe I used in the first trimester that I can't wear anymore. I took them down. I want things that I am wearing currently right now and then preparing for things that I'm going to wear after. And I'll show you in my closet too. I'll kind of kind of review this in the closet. So I took, went through things. What am I actually wearing now? What fits me? What feels good? What's comfortable? So I kept those things out. I had two big baskets of clothes that I had already kind of put away, but I wanted to really 
put them where they needed to be. So I went through um, both of those clothes and I said, okay, what do I not want at all? What am I just gonna get rid of? I'm gonna donate it. Um, and here's a picture of the pile that I came up with for things that I'm just gonna donate, give away, get out of the house. Even when I'm back to my pre-pregnancy size, I'm not gonna wear them, so I'm just gonna get rid of them. And then I looked at and said, okay, well, what do I have that I can use in the immediate postpartum period? Do I have some really stretchy sweatpants? Do I have some bigger t-shirts? Do I have some sports bras that are stretchy enough that I can breastfeed in them? Do I have some bralettes that are super cute that can kind of double up as nursing bras? Um, so I went through all of the clothes that I have to see what could be multi-purpose. Now, if you've ever had a baby, and if you haven't, and this is news to you, check it out. When you get home from the hospital, you're still gonna feel five to six months pregnant, okay? Your uterus is not tiny, your belly is still gonna be pooched out, um, and I'm keeping out my nurse, my pregnancy leggings. I'm gonna wear pregnancy legs, I'm gonna pull them right on up to my rib cage, and it's gonna be awesome, and they're gonna be really comfortable. Um, I also had some high-waisted leggings that I was able to wear in the first trimester, probably up until about 20 or 22 weeks that I kept out, that those will be nice as I kind of am starting to kind of go back to my normal size to be able to wear as well. Um, and I got some really cute pajamas and um, I've got some nursing bras. I also found out what I needed. Like there's, I kind of put things in categories and I was like, you know what? I need some more nursing tanks. I don't have enough of those to really kind of go through the week and have to you know, be able to do laundry about once a week or so. So that's kind of how I thought about things as I kind of touched every piece of clothing that I own, you know, Marie Kondo style, um, and to see, okay, where does this serve me? Does it go out of the house, donate? Does it stay in the house? And I'll show you the things that I'm keeping, but I'm putting them away. Like I'm gonna get some clear Tupperwares that I can label exactly what's in there, um, and I'm gonna get some cedars so they don't get messed up in the attic, but they're not going to stay out and I'm not going to be looking at them every day. All I have is what I'm going to be able to use in that first few weeks. Probably the first, um, I'm thinking of it in phases. So the first two weeks of that immediate postpartum, I'm going to feel super pregnant like that whole time. And then maybe that three to eight weeks is that transitional time where I'm just going to be comfortable. Uh, I'm not going to be exercising yet. I'm just going to be relaxing, pouring into my baby. Um, and so that's, that's what I'm kind of thinking of it in phases and that's how I hung things up. So I'll show you in the closet and hopefully it'll all kind of come together and make a little bit more sense. But I hope this is helpful because again, the, it, pregnancy is a mind trip. There are very, very few other circumstances in life where your body changes as fast as it does during pregnancy. Even if you gain weight quickly, a lot of times you're not going to gain, you know, weight this quickly. Now, if you have thyroid problems or you're on medication or something else, then of course there are circumstances, but it's really a mind trip. And it's wonderful and it's beautiful, but then it takes a long time to get back afterwards. And sometimes things don't go all the way back. They don't, stretch marks don't go away. They get they get better. They don't leave completely. Your belly button may not look the same. And that's okay, but it's it is it can be mentally taxing. And if I can get, if I can take control of this one little piece <laughs> of not re-traumatizing myself every single day, then you know what? It's worth the effort. And I am not gonna want to do it after the baby's here. So that's why I went ahead and did it this weekend, and I'm really, really glad that I did. All right, so let's go take a look at the closet, and then I'll show you the clothes that I am putting away into storage as well. All right, guys, so here's the closet. Just a quick overview there. But I'll start here. Here on the bottom are my the work clothes that I wear, my black scrubs, if I'm wearing scrubs, 
Um, these are maternity leggings, um, mostly kind of exercise leggings, but some of them are just kind of loungy. So this is actual maternity stuff. Um, these are just some scarves that I found in the clothes I had put away. Scarves are awesome for breastfeeding, especially if you're out in public, because it's just cute. And then if you need to whip out the boob, you just kind of drape it over your shoulder. Um, if you don't want, if you care to cover up, you don't have to cover up because breastfeeding is natural. Um, all right. And then in this top one, you can see some of my nursing bras. Um, I have also a pumping bra in there. Here are some leggings that I'll probably use a little bit later. This is just a regular bralette that was actually a little bit big on me and I think will be perfect for breastfeeding as well. And then this is an abdominal binder. I never really got into it last time. I found it really uncomfortable, but uh, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try it again this time and see what happens. Um, all right, so these are my clothes. Tried to arrange them in color order like the home edit. <laughs> just to be a little bit more um, aesthetic. Some of them are maternity, some of them are not. Um, probably about one third maternity, one third not maternity. But So this is the clothes that I can actually wear now and think that I also think some of them will transition um, into breastfeeding as well. And then here are the bottoms that I'm able to wear um, other than the ones that I have on. This little biker shorts you saw me sit down in. I got some, like one pair of work pants, one pair of leather leggings that's not in maternity, but I still really like. Um, these are really fun to wear. <laughs> um, some jeans and um, the green pants that I featured in my um, pregnancy lookbook. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check that out. Um, and then most of my shoes are actually downstairs. Those are just a couple of the pairs of shoes that I can actually wear now. All right, and then the drawers. The top drawer is really just socks, underwear, jewelry. That really doesn't need any explanation. This drawer is pajamas, lounge clothes. These are the bras that I can actually wear. These are the ones that, um, the little sports bras that are stretchy. I can still wear these. May also work for breastfeeding, we'll see. This one is just kind of casual black tops, t-shirts, and then tanks. These are not nursing tanks, but they will work. I actually tried them on and I'm able to pull them down from the top if I loosen the straps enough. I don't think there's actually anything much in this bottom drawer, so. And then here we have a couple of nursing tops. This one I love. This little peplum actually comes down underneath. Isn't that so cute? I think that's just Jessica Simpson for motherhood, maternity, or pee in a pod, but I'm looking forward to wearing that. Um, this is just a nursing tank top that I thrifted. So some hoodies that I'll just be comfortable in. A nice little throw that may be nice to go out in if we ever go out anywhere. Um, and then these are just the dresses. Most of them are maternity. Uh, I will probably put them away after um, baby comes, but a couple of them crisscross in the front and are good for nursing. This dress I also featured in my lookbook. My sister sent it to me and I love it. And this one I got from Marshalls, um, which will probably also be good for nursing and pumping. So these, this is my closet. This is what I kept out, guys. It's not a whole lot, but I think that it's really going to be helpful in maintaining a positive attitude and mindset. These are all the clothes that I am storing away that may come out another day, <laughs> but I'm putting away my regular bras. I'm not gonna have any need for those because if I can't breastfeed in it or pump in it, I've got no use for it. Um, my swimsuits, uh, those are not gonna serve me well <laughs> immediately some dresses, sweaters, sports bras that are going to be too tight to nurse in, some of my workout clothes, um, some of these leggings I'll probably pull out before my leave is over. Um, they're great. Um, my work uniforms, I will get back to those when it's time to go back to work. Um, and then some of my 
other kind of pants and things like that. I'm also super open to going shopping again. <laughs> Who's not open to going shopping again? Um, depending on how my body recovers. And so these things are going to go away. They're not going to be constant reminders of where my body is not. And they'll come back out when I need them. All right, so I wanted to show you guys a couple of examples of the things that I'm keeping out. Um, these are actually inside out. <laughs> she got the inside of my pants. Um, okay, so these are, I got from Marshalls. They are the brand Balance Collection. Um, they are not maternity pants, but I got them in a size large. And look at this, guys. Look how stretchy those are. <laughs> They're amazing. Um, they, I wear these now all the time as pajama pants. They are joggers and they kind of cuff at the bottom. Um, but these are so soft and comfy and they're not gonna cut in on my postpartum tummy. They're gonna be so comfortable and I'm so excited about wearing them postpartum. So these do double duty, which is awesome. Um, so I really like these. This was a shirt that I thrifted. It's uh, Liz Lange Maternity from Target. It is just a straight up nursing tank, okay? So it has like the access from the side. It's hard to see, but access from the side. It's lightweight, it's cotton, loose over the tummy. I think this is made for you to be able to wear um, during pregnancy as well, um, but I haven't worn it. I just have it in my little breastfeeding only section in the closet. <clears throat> These are actually, I don't know if I got these by accident <laughs> or what, but these are from Target. These are Isabel Maternity from Target. And these are just some postpartum support leggings. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get into these immediately, um, but I'm gonna try them after the first few weeks. Um, but they are kind of, they made, uh, made of double fabric at the top and they're not as stretchy as the regular maternity leggings and they're supposed to kind of suck you in and hold you up. Um, so I'm gonna try these as well. A lot of different brands make um, support leggings, but you know, we'll see. And then this I got from Walmart. I'm actually really excited about wearing it. <laughs> it's a little set. Look how fun that is. Animal print, but like lime green, right? These are similar to the gray pants that I'm, or I think gray or blue uh, pants that I have in my um, hospital bag. Um, and it comes with a matching little short sleeve, lightweight sweatshirt top. And my plan is just to wear these with a nursing bra or a nursing tank underneath. So just because they're lounge clothes and they're pajamas doesn't mean they don't have, they can't be cute. You know what I mean? So I'm really excited about trying these things. Um, and having some nice things to look forward to postpartum and not just dreading <laughs> that nothing is gonna fit. All right guys, so question of the video, what are you looking forward to most about your postpartum recovery, about your postpartum period? I think honestly, other than my baby, obviously. <laughs> I think wearing these uh, lime green Leopard pajamas is gonna be really fun. Um, all right guys, thanks for watching. Definitely stop for a moment, subscribe to the, to the channel because I am gonna be doing a lot in the next few weeks, okay? Getting the bedside nursery set up, getting the actual nursery set up, kind of showing you guys my breastfeeding plan. I have a breastfeeding plan. So I wanna be able to share all that stuff with you Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And then also follow me over uh, at Mommy in the Moment because I post in my stories or in my feed uh, every time I post a video. So check it out. I hope this is helpful. Share it with somebody that you love. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.